Thank you, sir. This has been a test of endurance. All the members sitting here should all be applauded for being here almost the whole day, since 11 in the morning. Ji? Huh? Kuch rahe Aap bilkul interrupt mat kariye. Main aapko bahut humbly request kar rahi hu. So I'll, I'll read because the time is very little and uh, reading is faster than speaking. So while thanking the President of India for her benevolence, I'd like to discuss the life of every Indian of the country, a life which they should live in the Amrit Kal uh, with pride and dignity and security. The first point, again, a lot of my MPs have spoken about, especially the women, such a tragedy that men never, never talk about women and empowerment. The first... I warned you, do not... Please, please, please do not inter interrupt when honorable members speak. In, whenever you get an opportunity, you can uh, express your views. Please carry on. I'm sorry, you'll have to give me this time. Please carry on, Bachchan. Thank you. Please carry on. The first point is women welfare, their presence in the society and the dignity. Dignity. If you see the mention in the address, there is only proclamation of what the government has done, but no mention of what the government has achieved or bettered in the life of women. Jis desh mein maa, behen, betiyan, yaha tak ki do mehene ki bachiyan bhi surakshit nahi hai, us desh ko apne aap ko progressive kehne ka koi haq nahi hai. Jaha tak mahilo ka samman ke saath jine ka sawaal uttta hai, sir, us mein sarkar ka koi haq nahi hai. Cheshta zarur hai. ये मैं कहूंगी चेष्टा जरूर है आप लोगों ने तो नहीं किया इट इज सेड इन द एड्रेस दैट फ्रॉम एजुकेशन टू करियर द गवर्नमेंट इज ट्राइंग टू रिमूव ऑब्स्टिकल्स फॉर आवर डॉटर्स हाउ इज माय क्वेश्चन इट्स अ ह्यूज क्वेश्चन आई थिंक ऑल वुमेन आर आस्किंग दिस हाउ आर यू गोइंग टू डू इट आई डोंट सी इट इन द एड्रेस just proclaiming that they have built toilets for women, the government cannot claim that dignity to women has been provided. I want to give a small example. I know a lot of NGOs who work in villages, and I know a little young girl who wants to do some work, went to Madhya Pradesh. Wo ja rahi thi Bhopal se Chindwada tak. And the, in the middle, she needed to use the toilet. So there was an old lady, she asked her, Mujhe toilet jana hai, mein kaha ja sakti hoon? Tuno ne kaha, woh, khet mein. Khet mein chale jaiye. This young girl was very shocked because she came from a very different environment and she was told that there are toilets provided, dignity to women is provided. Sir, ye hai Sachai Swach Bharat Abhiyan ka. This is the actual truth. I've been to villages, I have seen what's happening. So I'd, I would also like to know why there is no mention of the Nirvaya Fund in the speech. What's happened? Nirvaya has vanished. The fund has vanished. Has a, as it is, the fund was reduced. Now, there is no mention. I think there should have been a mention. Mira dusra point is about sanitation workers. There is a little mention, but who also need to lead a life of dignity and pride. Unfortunately, there is no mention about their welfare and safety in their dress. Amrit Kal ke samay mein, hum ye soch rahe hain ki adhunik machinery kab tak aur kitni aayengi aur kab hamare sanitation workers ko rahat milega. When will their dignity as a human will be given duly, deserved by them? My third point is, sir, durbhagya ki baat hai, 
that there is no mention as to what the government has done to provide dignity and livelihood to the senior citizens and to live in this country with pride. India's elderly population aged 60 years and above is projected to touch 194 million in 2031, from 138 million to two in 2021. A 41% increase according to the National Statistics Office. What is the government's action plan? May I ask, what is the government planning to do for these senior citizens? There is complete negligence towards this section in a progressive country. All over the world, social security is provided to the handicapped, disabled, and elderly by the government. But in our country, no such provision is given. Millions of senior citizens have served the country to bring the country up to this standard. They have been completely ignored, deprived of any dignity of age since hard work and dedication to the country. Lastly, sir, I would like to point out the government's absolute disregard for the artistic community. We have had Bharat Ratnas like Pandit Ravi Shankar. We have had uh, Bharat Ratna, Lata Mangeshkar ji, Bhim Sen Joshi, M.S. Subhalakshmi ji, many more are also a nation where great painters have been conferred with Padma Awards like Jatin Das Ji, M.F. Hussain Sahib, writers like Nilala Ji, Panj Ji, Harivan Shai Bachchan, who have also been conferred with the Padma Awards. We are also a nation where great artists, cine artists, performing artists like Prithi Raj Kapoor, Dilip Kumar, and Satyajit Ray have made our country proud. Inhone apni jeevan aur apne Kala se is desh ko gauravit kiya hai aur is desh ka naam roshan kiya hai sirf hindustan mein nahi puri dunia mein thank you thank you jay bachchan thank you time is over time is time is over one minute this is my request to you sir but it's up to you i will listen to you please please come please come please conclude main ye sochti hu ki sarkar ko इन बड़े बड़े कलाकारों के नाम पर भी कुछ करना चाहिए इनको केवल अवार्ड ना देके सम्मान स्वरूप कुछ काम करना चाहिए मेरा सजेशन है सर सरकार से कि नए पार्लियामेंट में सिर्फ पॉलिटिशियंस के पोर्ट्रेट्स ना लगाए जाए और सिर्फ सिर्फ उनको ही माला ना चढ़ाया जाए ये बड़े बड़े कलाकारों ने जिन्होंने हु आर द ट्रू एम्बेसडर्स ऑफ दिस कंट्री शुड बी ऑल्सो रिस्पेक्टेड बाय Creating this, sir. No Thank history of a nation is made by politics and politicians. The history of a nation is written with the achievements of art and literature. Or akhri ek point kya dun? Aap agar result ho. Please, please conclude. Thank, you. Thank you. I, one, one please. more. The, uh, just a demand from the government. But time is already. You have taken two more minutes. Please conclude. Please conclude. Please. Abhi wo keh rahein, bol dijiye. Yeah, yeah. He is also one of the deputy chair. So, so I will take the liberty. Sir, I, in the end, the many welfare schemes that the Rajya Sarkar and Kendra Sarkar are running, we have to identify the beneficiaries of the OBC, other backward communities, SC, ST, the community of the OBC, the community of the OBC, the community of the OBC, the community of the OBC. लेकिन 1931 के बाद भारत में जाति अधिकार आधारित जनगणना नहीं हुई, जिससे हमें OBC की संख्या का पता नहीं चला। On this opportunity given, we demand. I think I have the support of the entire house. The census due soon. Should cast be cast based so they can get the advantage and due share in welfare schemes, government jobs, and other walks of life. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you, Jaya Bachchan. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much.